Uriel. God. Have, Have a seat. seat. Don't mind if I do. Thanks again for granting me the audience and all. Appreciate it. Yeah, well, my secretary tells me you were pretty insistent. I was, yeah. So I want to talk to you about something, but uh, I don't want you to get, you know, how you get. And how do I get? You get brimstony sometimes. You get a little brimstone. You know, I already don't like the direction this conversation is taking. I, I, know, I know, I know. But look, this is really important, and I think everybody's been tiptoeing around this issue for way too long because everybody's afraid to piss you off. What issue? All right, well, first promise not to get mad. For my sake, Uriel, I'm a grown deity. It's been ages since I lost my temper. Dude, you earthquaked Nepal when I beat you at Smash Brothers a couple months ago. That had nothing to do with Smash Brothers. I've been going easy on them for the high places way too long anyway. They were overdue. Okay, so do you promise not to earthquake anybody? Fine. Or brimstone anybody? Just spill it, Uriel. Okay, 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 okay. It's, uh... It's about your kid. What about my kid? All right, well, look, um, none of us thought it was a particularly good idea to promote him to king of the universe without even looking at any of the other applications. Kind of reeked of nepotism. But, you know, you're the boss, so we all got behind you. Damn straight you did. Yeah, okay, but it's been almost 2,000 years, and I think maybe it's time you revisited that decision. What are you trying to say? Trying to say that Jesus is a fuck up. He's hey, Biff. He's hey. the Biff Loman of Messiahs. He is Look, not. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He let everything go to shit during the Dark Ages, and you know we wrote that off as learning the ropes. Then he went through the whole Crusade phase, and we overlooked that too as you know growing pains. They were. Then he went as Inquisition kick, did the whole witch hunting thing. Again, we all stood behind him, even when he fucked up the Enlightenment. After the, all that, the, the Enlightenment wasn't, wasn't entirely his fault. He's omnipotent. Well, and omniscient. Well, but okay, setting all that aside, look at the last couple of centuries alone. You got atheists launching rockets to Pluto, plagiarizing your genomes and stuff. And meanwhile, what's he doing? I know, I know. What's he doing, God? Seriously, what does he do he's, here? He's appearing on bread and dog's asses. He's appearing on bread and dog's asses. Asses. Hey, look, I, when I was a kid, I did some weird stuff. You know, they hadn't figured out anywhere near as many bread products back then, but if they had... A, yeah, you I, never appeared on a dog's ass. I, well, in his defense, I'm pretty sure that was an accident. It was not an accident. He said it was an accident. He says lots of things. All right, what, what about this second coming he's been working on for the last couple of millennia, I guess? He keeps telling us he's, you know, tinkering with it, but meanwhile, we haven't even seen a finalized budget for the thing. Well, look, it, no, it takes a lot of time to make helmets for each little locust, omnipotent or not. Face it, dude, he's just fucking off most of the day. I know how bad you wanted your kid to take over the family business and everything, but at a certain point, you have to admit he's not the right guy for the job. Well, okay, then who is if you know everything? We could try out Jeb, or maybe we could look outside of the family. Allah's been showing a lot of initiative lately. Or, or maybe Tom Cruise. He, he can't keep doing those Mission Impossible movies forever. Oh, hell yes, he can. Why do you think I miracled him into still having a career after that crazy Oprah shit? All right, well, what about Satan? He's basically already doing the job anyway, right? So The, uh, the guys in Oklahoma would never go for it. All right, well, what about, um... Are, are you... Do you need to get that? Yeah, yeah hold on. It's, it's Jesus, huh? Hold on. Hey! Hey, would you look at that, huh? Look, check it out. That's that's Jesus on the side of a taco shop. Yes, yes. He always sends me pics when he tries out a new food product. This one's pretty good, though, right? Have, might have to go on the fridge. Yeah, well, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You can't keep encouraging him like this. He's an what, idiot. What are you talking about? This isn't even a bread product. That's a corn tortilla. The kid's branching out. He's showing initiative. I quit. And you were worried.